on today's menu, an incredibly delicious recipe that's bun in a million. Crispy tofu katsu burger. Lei ho ma, I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is incredibly scrumptious and it only requires a few simple ingredients. This is extra firm tofu. Now, it's important to note that every brand will have almost its own definition of what extra firm or medium firm to them is, so it's a little bit subjective. Now, this extra firm tofu I get is actually very extra firm, has very little moisture in it, and when you press on it, it really just kind of bounces back. It literally will not fall apart unless you intentionally rip it apart. And because we're making a patty for the burger, a really extra firm piece of tofu is going to be ideal. What I like to do as well is to sort of measure out the size of the patty. So this case, this block of tofu is about 350 grams. Looks like it's pretty perfect, just about halfway through. Slice the tofu into about one inch thick patties. This block of tofu will be good for four burgers, but today's episode, we're just gonna make the one. About 40 grams of red cabbage, finely chopped. The thing about slicing things really wafer thin is actually using your three fingers here. The back of your middle finger will be against the knife here and will literally guide that knife so you know exactly where that knife is. And really it's not about speed. Every time you're able to bring the knife out to cook is an opportunity for you to practice. And of course remember to tuck in your thumb so literally nothing is in the line of sight of the knife. And again, it's not about speed. It will actually take a lot more of your time if you end up cutting your finger just because you want to chop faster and you have to get a Band-Aid or it just becomes a lot more annoying. About 20 grams of carrot, finely chopped into thin matchsticks. Chop half an apple into thin matchsticks. Man, that is thin. That is just awesome. You know that saying where no one can do push-ups for you? Well, recipes don't make themselves. So definitely have a healthy sense of pride. Chop half a stick, green onion. Place the slaw veggies into a bowl. This is a chickpea mayonnaise I made in the previous episode, and boy, is this ever amazing and thick. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can make this really easily at home as well. Literally only needs a few ingredients. Two generous tablespoons, chickpea mayo, pinch of salt, about a tablespoon, sriracha, This looks like a delicious side salad by itself, but man, this is going to be amazing in the burger. Mix. Set the slaw aside. Half cup flour. One and a half tablespoon soy sauce. Splash of water. Whisk the flour until it becomes a fairly thick consistency. Pour a half cup of panko into another bowl. Coat the tofu in the sticky flour mixture.
transfer the tofu to the panko and coat. Slice the burger bun in half. Frying pan. Medium heat. Toast the buns for about a minute on each side. When the buns are toasted, transfer to a cooling rack. This will ensure that the buns will stay nice and crispy. One cup of avocado oil into the frying pan. Medium heat. Stick in a bamboo chopstick. If you see some fast moving bubbles, it's ready. Carefully place in the breaded tofu. Fry the tofu for two to three minutes on each side. Let the tofu rest on a paper towel. Assemble your burger by adding some leafy greens, tofu katsu, and a generous scoop of the delicious slaw. Sprinkle with sesame seeds and serve. You can now crunch into this delicious burger with absolute confidence. It's recipes like this that is just so exciting. Mm. Man, oh man, that is such a delicious burger. You get these amazing contrasts and texture. You have that kind of firmness of the extra from tofu, but that's breaded in this deliciously crispy the panko breadcrumbs that just fry up amazingly golden brown. And you get that little bit of saltiness and umami from seasoning the actual flour batter that you coat that tofu with. You have a little bit of that freshness from the baby greens and then that delicious, delightful, wonderful, crunchy crispiness from the carrot, the purple cabbage adds that little sweetness and juicy freshness along with that amazing apple that also adds that kind of natural sweetness and just incredibly refreshing. That sweetness really contrasts with the sort of spiciness from the sriracha and that kind of spicy mayo that we created with that chickpea mayonnaise. The spicy mayonnaise really binds everything together and adds that really delightful butteriness. It really only required a few simple ingredients, a few simple steps to put it all together and you have this tofu katsu burger with this delicious, sweet, salty, refreshing slaw. You can also reuse the oil by simply letting it cool and straining it out. Just look at the beautiful bright colors in that amazing slaw. And this is phenomenal in its own right. Just so simple to put together. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like I do, definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook and the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. To take a sneak peek inside the book or to get your signed copy, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out. And of course, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.